Richard White, Senior BIM Consultant for Man and Machine, and today we're going to look at another one of the features within Revit 2022, the, Rev the Revit Native PDF Exporter. So within our Revit space, um, when you're actually working through uh, your project, you may get to a point where you need to export some PDFs uh, from the project for um, exchange with somebody else. Um, historically, you would have to do that through probably an add-in tool, um, a, a, a sort of a third-party PDF tool. Um, historically, AutoCAD had a PDF exporter tool embedded within it, and now Revit 2022 also has this same or very similar export tool. So we have our project here, I'm just looking at Project Scrap Splash Screen at the moment. I've actually set up a, a number of um, views around our GA plans for this particular project. So we have everything from our ground floor plan all the way through uh, each one of our floors, um, all pre-set up on A1 sheets. Everything's all, all, all the title blocks already set up, so I'm ready to export this out of the project. So the good thing is, with this is now is because this is an embedded um, batch export tool, we can set up, set up our PDF export um, a lot more quickly than we could have done before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my file and go to export. And within here, we now have an option that says PDF export. This will then take us to a dialog box, which is very much like your print dialog box that you've uh, that you've got within um, standard Revit output outputs. Um, but within here, that we've got a few customizable areas that we can help um, speed up the process with the production of um, batches of PDF outputs. Um, the first thing we probably want to do is select our sheets, so we can still select batches of um, uh, drawings. Uh, we would recommend, obviously, if you're wanting to uh, output um, uh, sets of drawings, then you can probably save these as um, suited sets, typically of the, of the same paper size. That will make your life a little bit easier with regard to the setup. So we're just going to go into here. I've, I've pre-selected my um, five sheets that I want to pull out of this project. Um, so I've selected these, and these are the ones that we're going to push out as part of our PDF export. We can also save our export settings within here. So this is very much like your print setup within Revit as well, where you can save uh, particular batches for your print exports. We, we can also export to a specific file location. So we've got one set up here. Um, and we've got this really nice naming tool that sits within within Revit now too. So right next to here, we can start. We can actually do a name building exercise to pre-name the outputs of our export files. So what I've done in here is I've gone to my sheets area, and we can pre-select some of the parameters that sit within our project. So in this particular instance, I've got my sheet number um, because that's what I want to create, create as the name. And on this particular project, the client has asked for the revisions to be added. So we've added a separator into next to where the sheet number is, and then we've added our revision text into this space. Now, something that's worthwhile noting is that if those, if any of those areas are currently blank, it will not let you export this file, and it will give you a warning to say that you need to go and have a uh, have a review of your setup to make sure that everything is um, fully populated. So we've got this set up with our sheet number and our revision text in in this space. Um, we can then set this up as we would normally do as part of our um, export options, as part of a print um, uh, print role. So this works in very much the same way. Um, you can either ask it to auto automatically select the orientation and setup, and your paper size, and obviously your zoom functionality with regard to the, the scaling of your drawing. I've got this all set up to an A1 sheet um, with 100% zoom, so I know it's going to be scaled correctly. Um, we also do have some options down the bottom here. A lot of these options are available as part of the print function, um, but there are some extra um, some extra nice things that they've added in, like view links in blue, um, which will allow you to then see the dynamic links that, re that relate between your PDF um, areas. Once we're happy that this is all set up, we can save this export function to then be reused in the future. Um, I'm not going to do that in this particular instance, so I will actually get a warning pop up in a second saying, do I want to save this? Hopefully, or it will actually just run its way through and export those files. And the good thing is that's taken a matter of mere seconds to export these files. I'm going to go into my PDF export folder, and I can see here that I've already got an export of each one of these files named in the way that I wanted them to be named, um, as well as um, the uh, revision tag afterwards as well, in line with the naming function that I've placed in there. 
So really, really useful um, functionality that's now available with, directly within Revit and will save you a lot of time moving forward.